Hello everybody, um, today I have a different video for you guys. Today I'm going to be doing a how-to video. So, the reason why I wanted to do a how-to video is because nobody has done a diagnostic test on a Roomba 900 or a 600 or any of that matter of fact. And so I was like, you know what, let's be the first one and do it on a 9 980, you know, so, um, some of the tests, uh, are going to be easy. Some of the tests are going to be relatively interesting. Um, I have an entire, I have an entire uh, diagnostic. So if you want to, would like, to, if you would like to take a screenshot of that, I don't mind. But I will have a link in the description for where you can view it. Uh, but <clears throat> anyway, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is power off your Roomba. Just hold off, hold the clean button until it shuts off. Then what you want to do is hold down the bumper. And there's two modes you could do automatic, which flies through the test, or you could do, um, or you could do manual mode. In this, in this, I'm going to do manual mode because it's easy. It's it's, in my opinion, it's easier because you could fly through the test. So like, if you change something on your Roomba, you could just fly through them. Uh, if you don't, if you don't care about the tests, you could just do automatic same result each time nothing really different just one lets you switch between whatever test you want you know you know the beetle i just picked up a beetle out of my carpet <laughs> i'm gonna have to run the room later all right but anyway first let's let's just start off with um regular basic mode so th this i'm gonna be doing manual mode so first thing you want to do is put your hand on the bumper home clean and spot five times so you just want to go bumper one two three four five you, okay now hearing that sound means you are in test zero so what this test does is it just tests out the displays and all that stuff so okay so that's that's this right here there's two ways you can tell what test you're in the the wi-fi light will i'm just going to go into test one the the wi-fi light shows the Wi-Fi light shows what test you're in. So if it's a fast blink, that's test one. Or 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 you could also hear by the beeps. So fast a fast blink is one. A slow blink is five. And just like the beeps. A slow beep is or like a low frequency beep is like a five. And a high frequency beep is one. So <clears throat> So right now, test number one is bumpers. So this is just testing out bumpers. Okay, now that test that, that test is done, now we're going to do middle cliff sensors. So I'm just going to go back to test number one. So before I start, okay, so I had three rows of cliff sensors. We have middle, front, and rear cliff sensors. Okay, so if I go into test number that. So test number two should be middle cliff sensor so if i pick it up covering those cliff sensors nothing will happen but if i show them yep just like that front cliff sensors are also detecting as well as rear rear cliff sensors there we go now you hear that low frequency beep that means we are in test number five okay so test number five is back distance sensor so these this entire bumper has um sensors all over it so you just want to put your hand in the way of of the sensors okay now we are in test number six test number six is middle distance sensor so just put it kind of in the middle okay now we are in test number seven which is front Okay, test number eight, test number eight is left distance sensor. So there is a weird distance sensor on this side of the bumper. Just put your hand in the way. Okay, now we are done number num now we are done number six. Now we are on number seven, which is actually no. My apologies, guys. We are on test number nine. So if you look, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah. So if you pick up your Roomba, just drop the wheels. Yep, that's that test, it's all done. So just drop the wheels and make them click a little bit. Okay, dock, close, okay, close to dock, up distance. So, uh, 
I'm going to adjust you guys a little bit and tilt you up forward. There you go. So all I'm going to do is put the dock, put the Roomba in the way. Okay, now this one is just scanning the frequencies. That one was on board sensor. So now you can see it's spinning in a circle. That is the wheel test. So I'm just gonna let that spin. Okay, yeah, so now it's spinning. So, so now you could stall the wheel, make sure it knows that it's stalled the wheel, but there is, it's very hard to pass this one, so I'll just click next. Same with this one. Then it's gonna dart backwards, which pretty much, which, which this one all it tests is if it's, if it's, um, if it's going in a straight line, if one of the wheels are bad or not. So yeah, that's what that that's what the darting backwards one was. And then the wheels are just the same. So this one, this makes sure your brushes spin in the right way, which they do. This next one, it also spins the wheels to make sure the power supply can handle the load of the wheels spinning at the same time as the that. So yeah, there's no vacuum suction or anything. It's just, just load. Um, after that, vacuum motor test. So it's gonna run the vacuum to make sure everything is correct. So it's very loud. So I'm trying to block it for you guys. So yeah, after the vacuum test, you have the side brush test which pretty much tests if it's another. There you go. Okay, yeah, just that just tests if it's in the right way. Um, motor, roller, vacuum, side brush. Okay, now this one should just spin in a circle. This is, this mode, the, the only thing that's for this, the, the, the reason for this is because if one of the wheels drop, you want it to spin in, um, in the actual cleaning job. So if it doesn't spin, there's something wrong with your, like your Roomba motherboard and you might need to get another one, like, or just replace the motherboard. Uh, the next one is check for behaviors. What that does is that, um, this is test number 21. This is the last test before you just put it on the dock and let the rest do what it has to do. So, um, Pretty much what this does is it scans the file. So you just click that and that scans all the system on the motherboard. So yeah, this one should just pass. If it doesn't, then that's not good. Okay, now for this one, I'm just gonna move you over by the dock again. So this one, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna place the Roomba on the dock. And the rest should be automatic. So just let it do its thing. So you could hear it flying through the tests. This is test number 22 through 31. So it's just gonna fly through all these. All right, now that it's done, you can just pick it up and put it on the ground. And you should see the happy green light. Which means if it flickers green, that means your robot has passed its diagnostic. If it turns red, then that's the blink of death and something is not good with your robot. As you can see, I passed. Um, as you can see, I passed. So then what you wanna do is now that you're on this menu is just hold down the clean button until all the lights light up and then you let go and it should turn green. If it doesn't, then just try this again. With other Roombas, the restarting is a little bit different, but just hold. As you can see, all the lights went went like that. You just let go, shuts off, and restarts. And there's your Roomba. So, um, yeah. Uh, I hope you all had a have a great day. Once again, here's the manual, so you guys can screenshot it. All right. Um, yeah, and thank you all so much for watching. This is a, just a short video. Um, 
And yeah, have a great day, guys.